What's up, John? I got you. Oh, man, good. Good, good. There good. we go. Woo! How long you going to That was good. Yeah. Okay, that worked. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, do, we want, do we want to start off like that? Or? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah it's been, you know what we said? We're not going to. Everything's. Everything's. Um, everything's how it is. How it happens is how we're going to put it out there, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Right. That's just everything's real. Yep. That's how we're going to do it. Yep. Being here. So we're gonna do it like this. Let's do it like this. We'll, we'll keep on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's get started. Yeah, man. Yeah, so um, why don't you tell people about you, who you are, and uh, what you do, basically, and uh, you know, because this this podcast is about um, the idea is to take people who don't know a lot about tech and kind of introduce yeah. them slowly into it and just give them an idea of what it's like. You know, um, I'm not, I don't, my, the focus of the podcast is not to talk over people's heads too much. Correct. So they don't like um, shy away and, and don't like, you know, um, don't want to do it basically. And we talk about other things than, other than it, but you know, for, oh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, for the most part. So why don't you talk about your, um, how you started in IT, you know, um, and, and what what type of thing can you offer to the listeners? What what advice or how did you do it? You know, what can you t- what can you say on that? Well, as far as how I started off in uh, IT, uh, first I was a, cab- a person who installed cables. I was a, I was an installer, so I ran and installed cables and uh, phone systems, computer systems, and all that stuff. Um, I was in the military, but um, that's what I did a lot of. I did a lot of uh, installing cable for systems. I eventually, um, in the same, I guess you could say, role, they started shifting me over to doing more, I guess you call it networking and messing with PCs and just different types of fields and I guess to a security type of uh, field. So I had to make sure all the systems were updated with the correct security um, policies and, um, and making sure that you do just connect their devices to the network pretty much. It was a very small scale when I first started out. And um, I still didn't know much of anything when it came to networking until Mr. Gary here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so long story short, um, again, like I said, I was really like a cable installer, installed cables um, for device. Now, that's, that's not um, a bad job to have either. I mean, there's, like right now, cabling is a big deal. Um, fiber optics, even just copper cabling, uh, it's it's a pretty big like they, they do a lot of infrastructure work. They're, they're like on ground zero doing a lot of work. Uh, so that's a good job to have. So you can get into cabling is good. Um, but anyways, um, I moved on then into IT. Um, not because I don't like cabling. Cabling I still like doing cabling and stuff because it's it's, uh, it's more active work. But uh, I, I still like doing that. But I don't do it much because my role now. But I got into IT networking because uh, Gary here. Um, he tricked me into going somewhere. <laughs> Not explain. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, no, but um, honestly, one reason I got into IT was because um, one of the jobs I was working on, I was a cable installer. We were, well, we were managing wireless devices. This is when wireless wasn't really that big yet. It was getting big. It was already big, but in homes. But as far as business, businesses and like military and stuff like that, it wasn't like a big thing yet. Um, it wasn't that long ago, it was only like eight, I want to say, not even, it was about 10 years ago, it was not that long ago, it was like 18 years ago. Um, so, anyways, I was installing, uh, we, was, we had to click, connect these things called NEMA boxes, and they were like wireless uh, boxes we had to create for the access points, and these were for like places like airplanes and bunkers and stuff like that, so we had to have them ruggedized so they wouldn't be you know, messed up in those places. And there was one time to where I came to the manager Asked anybody if you knew how to connect remotely to a network device. And I was like, um, I don't know, you know. And then one of my friends I worked with said, oh, you have to use Telnet. And he went up to the device, consulate, typed in Telnet, and put the IP address in there. I looked at him like he was a genius. I was like, wow, what the heck is that? I mean, I was like, what the heck? How did you 
know how to do that? You know, if you're never a guy, it's like, what? It's nothing that big. But to me, at that time, I was like, what the heck is this? And I was like, baffled at this thing called film, and I was like, what the heck? And then, like, you know, from there, I was like, I was kind of interested in, I tried to learn IT on my own and with friends, but it was so confusing. It was just, or networking, as far as IT, I mean networking, it was confusing as heck. Because um, there, there was a lot of things in IT, that's so why I can't say IT, but when, I'm talking about networking. It was confusing as heck, so... Uh, when I was at this job, I was in Germany. Um, lo and behold, Gary was still in contact because we worked before. And um, Gary said, hey, hey, you should go come to India. Uh, they got good training here. You know, Mr. Abita, you know. Hey, <laughs> 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 uh, you know, I'm going to go off track. I'm going to off topic just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Abita actually contacted me uh, a few months ago. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, it was on Facebook, you know. He said, "Hey, he saw he saw I was traveling, so he, he said I was doing this like that." But anyways, um, um, so yeah, so I got the IT that way. A gay here, um, got me to go to India, um, which was a really good idea for me because I knew nothing about IT networking as far as networking is concerned. And I went to India, and long story short, which I said up like a few minutes ago, but anyways, um, I went to India because Gary suggested it. It was one of the best ideas, suggestions I have gotten because I went to India not knowing a thing. I mean, this was like a few weeks or about a month or two after I knew about the Telnet command. And I went to India not knowing anything besides Telnet, <laughs> the Telnet command. And IP, I guess uh, what the IP was. But I, know, I didn't really know about the structure of IP addresses or something like that. So I went to India not knowing anything. And after three months of India, I left India pretty much being pretty good at riding and switching and networking and going to uh, California with a job. That's how I got into uh, IT as far as networking is concerned. Because uh, uh, the ability to, wanting to, I guess say, advance myself and learn more and just take it upon myself to um, to get better and just get a new, uh, I guess you could say, a skill. That, that's pretty much what it boils down to. I just want a new skill. And the best way to get a new skill is just to go out and just learn it. Just find a way to, you don't have to travel to India like I did, but, you know. Um, especially now, because there's a whole lot more, I guess you could say, um, platforms out there that you can learn from now to, you know, start learning new, uh, new um, skill sets and stuff like that. And not just in the IT field. This, this could be a lot of fields have plenty of to learn. Not just out there now. You can learn, not even going to a, or you can you can learn on your own. Pretty much what I'm trying to say. Um, so that's how I got my IT was um, because the dude over here suggested, and I, I, uh, I listen to people. I listen to a lot of people. I, I listen to a lot of suggestions from a lot of people. And if it sounds good, legit, I'm not gonna ignore or dis disagree with it just because I'm not used to it or I'm not, you know, I don't, you know, um, I don't uh, agree. With Sounds good, and if it's um, not hurting anybody or myself, and it's some, something that I'm interested in, then I'll, I'll, I'll at least look at it, look into it, and that's what I do with that, and I'm glad, I'm glad I look into it, and I got an IT that way. Mm. That's awesome, man. So, did you, uh, so, like, if you were to talk to some folks, right, you would probably, you would say, what, college, or certification, or what? Like, what, what See, that, that's, that's the question. See, I don't want to tell people not to go to college, you know, that, and that, that's, if, that's somebody wants to, if that's what somebody wants to do, then, yes, go to college. But I'll tell you right now, um, I believe, see, college for me is outdated in the sense how they, how they go along and go about their, I guess say, training, the, the classes and courses and everything like that. So I, I actually did go to college for, for two years, a year and a half, after, this was after I went to um, India, we went to um, college for about a year and a half, two years. Actually, we yeah, two years. I went to college for two years, and I was really upset going to college because I did not learn a dang thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was really upset because I went for a year and a half, two years. Uh, so here's what happened. So after I went to India for three months, I was running out of money, so I had to leave. I wish I stayed longer, um, but I went. I I eventually got a job in. California with Gary, um, actually. Uh, that's a crazy story in its own right. 
Yeah. Let, me, let me go real quick, real quick. So when I was in uh, Germany, um, I was working for one company, but then another company contacted me. And so they brought me over, and they, they, they walked me through the facility and everything like that. And everything went good. The interview and everything went good. Um, but the only thing that stopped me from getting it was, he said, I look too young. I was like, what? So okay, I, okay, whatever. So I suggested one of my friends that was there, and he got hired. Um, uh, actually, well, like two months later, he got hired. I went to India because of that. I was, you know what? I went to India. And then uh, I suggested Gary to that same company in Germany, but he ended up getting a job with that company in California. And then, then he suggested me to that same company that I suggested him to for a position in California. So then I got a job in California at the end. So that's how I ended up in California. It was like a circle of networking, I guess you could say. That's a true circle of networking right there. <laughs> it's always good to know, people. That's a, that's a true story, uh, true, um, true evidence of networking. But anyways, um, so at the end, I went to California. Um, and I was supposed to keep my training going on. So I was supposed to go at the expert level of the, um, the uh, course I went for. But when I went to the, the new job in California, they said the certification I had was required. But when I got there, they needed two other certifications. So I put my training on hold for a few months to do this training. And it wasn't much. It was a A-plus in Microsoft certified desktop service technician. Um, I didn't do too much studying for it. it pretty, the questions were pretty... I don't want to say easy, but they're pretty um, common sense questions. Like, what do you do if somebody cusses at you on the phone, a customer? And like, what do you do? Cuss back? <laughs> situation? What do you do? Tell them, tell them the F off. So it was a pretty, you know, a lot of questions were like that. So that was a pretty, you know, easy test, I guess you could say. But anyways, um, so I was supposed to uh, continue my training and networking and stuff like that. But then I decided to get a bad idea. You know what? Me and a colleague of mine decided... Um, and I'm sure you um, you might know him, David, because uh, he he worked he might he might have came after you left, yeah, man. but um, but uh, yeah, so I was like, you know what, we we came with this idea, let us go to college. So I looked at the um, college degree that they had. I went to call I went to online university called uh, Colorado Technical University, and I went to the I went the course of information technology security. And it was a bachelor's degree program, and I went. I, I I applied for it, and I got into it. Was it you know just applied for it? I was expecting to get some credits off of it since I already had a certification. Oh, you know, Cisco certified network associate because I went to Indian and got that. But I didn't get it because I, I I got it when I went back to uh, Germany. Took the test, passed it because of the training I got in India. And uh, I'm thinking, hey, they're gonna take some credits because of this. They're gonna take credits because the military. They're gonna take credits because of my A plus MCSC. And because of some of the, you know, my work history, they didn't take anything. I was kind of mad. Okay, whatever. So I went to, I went to school. After about a year and a half, two years, I realized I'm not learning anything that really nothing new. And actually, I know nothing now that can help me with my current job. And I don't think anything I learn now can help me with future jobs. The only thing I really learned was probably some Java programming, but I'm not a programmer like that in that case. So that's not what I was going to school. I was going to... Uh, college for the course, which was IT security, and nothing was teaching yet, nothing was really remotely close to anything networking, so I was kind of confused, didn't learn anything, and I dropped out eventually after, after that I dropped out, I stopped going, I dropped out, and I, I went back to studying on my own, you know, and doing that, going that route, and it's been a whole lot better. Um, so as far as college is concerned, I would say that Depending on what you go for, it's needed like a doctor, yes, of course. Um, maybe a scientist, yes. Uh, electrical engineer, because you got to have hands-on stuff. So for that type of stuff, yes, you're going to need it, I guess you could say. But, and honestly, for a lot of IT fields, I think it, I think a lot of colleges are outdated for a lot of IT. And not just IT, but a lot of industries. I think they're outdated. I, I, don't, think it's, I don't think you need a lot of those. What do you call those courses that you don't need at all because there's nothing towards what you want to do? Um, prerequisite or um, what they call those courses? Uh, Requisite or prerequisite <laughs> courses? I don't think most of those courses I do not believe are needed because, like, well, I think you've got the English course, you have the grammar course, you got all those courses, and honestly, as, since I started doing IT, I cannot recall 
not one CTO, not one director, not one manager, not this is when I have a job, and when I'm like interviewing for jobs, I haven't heard one. Um, I've not come across one recruiter, one HR person, you know, human resource person, one anybody complain about the spacing on your <laughs> your your your, your um, notes, the spacing on your emails, you know, how how are your what's your what's your um dear this. I've had, I haven't had anybody complain about how I type my letters, how I type anything. I have yet to come across anybody give two craps about that, honestly. I have seen nobody care about it. Nobody cares about that stuff. All I want to know is, is it going to save the company money? Is, it going to, is this going to fix this? Is this going to help? As long as they can understand that, they, they're okay with how you type your, your letters. Of course, if, you, if, they don't, if it's unreadable, like there's no, you're misspelling everything and everything's out of order, of course, they might have issued in. But as far as, going to college and taking these courses to to know the spacing between each letter, how I should write in all the tabs. And I have yet to come across any company or any, any um, I guess you could say leader, like CTO, director. I do with CTO, directors, project managers. I have yet to see any one of those guys care. I see some of those guys mess up on letters. I see yet any one of those guys care about how it's written. All they care about is it readable, is it understandable, and is it what we're trying to, you know, focus on. And that's the, like so. I'm all these courses I'm seeing on, on colleges is like I don't think they're really like I don't think they're I think they're outdated. Is what I'm trying to say. And I think they're outdated because it makes them a lot of money. So they they want all those courses on there because it makes them a lot of money. But to me, I just think I think they don't have enough. They're not. They don't have enough. We should say they don't have enough. Um, enough focused material to really get anybody anywhere after college. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, because let's look at it this way. If you take, I, I, I can really see this could probably be a fact. If you take somebody that goes to two years of college versus someone, let's say, okay, let's do like this guy. Let's say you yeah. take somebody who goes to college for two years straight and does their curriculum, right? And then you mm -hmm. take somebody that takes two years, let's just say money's not an issue. Let's just say that they're training Let's just say they're training and studying based on what they're getting. So let's say somebody goes to college for two years straight. And then take somebody that goes on their own and studies something that they want to study in IT. Let's say, let's say IT. They go for IT networking, right? A person in college going to IT networking versus somebody doing their own studying, going to their own training, you know, private companies doing given training, private um, um, vendors given training. Let's say they spend two years doing that versus somebody goes two years of college, who do you think is going to have way more knowledge in a specific or just way more knowledge in networking after that two years over with? Oh, yeah. yeah. After two yeah. years, trust me, after two years of studying on your own and going to uh, maybe like a private company's um, own, I guess you could say, training courses for like a month or two months, doing that for two years straight, you will have, you will probably be an expert in a few fields versus somebody coming out of college who I would guarantee you be borderline clueless about any technology. You need to be borderline clueless about most technologies coming out of college. This is somebody running on their own trying to go for the same type of um, knowledge in the same field. You would, um, as far as IT is concerned, you would probably almost be outclassed in every category, I, I would say. Yeah. Because um, I I've been around some interns, and no fault to their own, but they come into the they came into our company, I work for a health company, and we had a few interns. We haven't had an intern in a while, but when we did have some, um, I realized that the progress they made over the two years at the college, or well, even the college, I think it was ITT Technical University, something like that, or any of those universities. But what they was learning was what I was looking at. I'm like, this is, I would be born like pissed if I went through that for two years, which I did. <laughs> uh, that's why I know about it. Cause I, I'm glad I went to India first and then college. Cause then I was able to stop myself from going any further. Cause I realized I learned way more in India in three months than I did in two years in college. That's how I knew I wasn't learning anything. I was like, I'm not learning anything at all in college. Three years, three months in India, 
wiped out everything I did and caused tears. It wasn't even close. It was it was laughable. And I spent three thousand dollars or four thousand dollars in India on my my hope my apartment, my training, and you know, and maybe man, food and stuff like that. Four thousand dollars, forty five hundred dollars versus college, which is we all know how much that costs. Um, so when I look at it, I have to look at the what I went through, what I've experienced, what I've seen other people go through and experience, and what I can look at when I see companies giving training. Because, again, Gary, we all know there's so many venues you can go to right now online 